up everybody um, the war has begun I uh, got my my predatory mites in today um, I got two of these um, it's um, I think they say that at least 25,000 mites in each one um, it's probably more because uh, they were in the jar for a couple days, and the guy was saying that they, uh, you know, they they uh, reproduce pretty quickly in the jar. So um, there's enough food in the jar to last them a week, which is what this uh, sawdust looking stuff is. And um, you know, I had them in there for a couple days, so. Plus them. I just sprayed down the tanks and uh, underneath each pile is uh, some coconut husk. Um, put it in each cage. Uh, find out. <coughs> the female rack doesn't have any mites um, that I've seen, but uh, you know, just to be safe. I put it in every single cage. There. So. Uh, they should be gone within a couple of weeks. Um, can't really see in there. Pretty girl. Decided to uh, investigate it. <laughs> she tore up the pile. So. found mites on um, either on or in the water bowls of uh, Paul, Spartacus, Sebastian, Jack, and Casper. So they got um, they got slightly more than everyone else because that's where the uh, infestation is the worst. But um, yeah, it's uh, you know at least. 50,000 predatory mites split up between 14 cages or uh, I don't know, something like that. So, again, this is them. Um, I knew them as Hypoaspis Miles, but I guess the name has changed. So, yeah. I'll, um, I'll keep you guys updated on how it's working. And hopefully, in the next couple weeks, I will not have any more mites. So, I'll keep you guys posted.